Hey everyone, it's VM Campos, comic book fan. Here's my recent comic haul. I hadn't been to the comic shops in a little while, unfortunately. The main shop that I used to visit actually went out of business. And I kind of lost track of comics recently. And wouldn't you know it, it just happened to be during the Marvel Legacy event. So all of these classic comic books have been reverting to their classic numbering. Here we have the Mighty Thor number 700. So I was reading the Jane Foster Thor from the beginning. And it's pretty amazing to see it reverting back to number 700. So this is the, this is the Death of the Mighty Thor Part 1. I wasn't able to get it when it first debuted, so I had to get it for a slightly higher price. So the usual team is on this, plus more people. It's a 50-page Asgardian epic. Something old, something new, Marvel Legacy. I was also reading Spider-Gwen on the regular. I was actually reading her book from the very beginning. I have Edge of Spider-Verse. And I really enjoy her book, especially these amazing covers. The story is cool too. And again, the comic shop that I visited closed, so I missed out on the Gwenum storyline. Issue 25, I had to pick it up for a little bit more than usual price with the introduction of Gwenum. Very cool cover. I always love these covers. Speaking of covers that I love, here's 27. So continuing the Gwenum storyline. Beautiful, bold colors. Can't wait to read this one. Now, speaking of classics, back in the 90s, my brother and I were really into Dark Hawk. And the series ended with issue 50. Here's Dark Hawk number 51, The Return, part one of one. I'm not sure if this is continuing or if it's a one shot, but this definitely feels like an old friend. I had to pick up the alternate cover as well. This is just epic. Now, this Darkhawk armor is a little bit different than the one I remember back in my day, 20 years ago, 25 years ago, but I couldn't pass up that cover. Really nice. Completely for fun, I picked up Not Brand Ech, number 14. This was a joke book from Marvel from back in the day that ended in issue 13, I guess, and then Marvel Legacy brings it back with issue 14. And this is Forbush Man. I don't really know anything about this character except that he was kind of a joke character. He had a pot on his head. He was in pajamas or something. And this is the most epic version that you'll ever see of him. You old timers might remember him in his, in his Fred Hembeck version. Awesome. Moving on uh, away from Marvel over to Image. Uh, I had to do a little catching up here, so I got both of these. Uh, the Walking Dead, New World Order Storyline 1 and 2, Part 1 and Part 2. And uh, this is very different from what's going on in the TV show. Much better than what's going on in the TV show. So if you've lost all faith in the Walking Dead TV show, there's still the comics. This is the latest one here. Two of six. So basically, Hillary won after the zombie apocalypse. Just uh, completely off of the shelf with no prior knowledge, I got Minky Woodcock, The Girl Who Handcuffed Houdini by Cynthia Von Bueller. This is from Titan Comics, issue one, cover D, the photo cover, suggested for mature readers. I don't know anything about it, but the cover really stood out and the Neil Gaiman quote as well. I was seduced by Cynthia Von Bueller's artwork. She is a wonder. Hard case crime. So just something different, something independent. Titan is a British comic publisher, I believe. Continuing the completely different is Underdog, number one, 1975. Has Underdog really been around since 1975? Wow. And this is coming from American Mythology Productions. This is the classic cover. Now, it is a little updated for the modern times, I think, but it's the classic style of art of Underdog. There's no need to fear. He's got his own series again. I'm reading the comic book history of comics. This is volume two, number two. Volume one was a uh, history of comics, and volume two is more of a history of graphic novels. 
This is really enjoyable if you're into the history of comics as well as reading them. The British Comics Invasion and Kirby Strikes Back. IDW is publishing a brand new volume of Walt Disney Showcase. The last time this was published was in 1980. It's technically volume two. So these, these are a lot of um, European created stories uh, published in, in the US for the first time. Donald Duck in the Bad News Brews Cruise. Pretty cool art, two stories, brand new series. Another new series, Barbarella. This is number one. This is being published by Dynamite. Uh, this is the regular cover by Ken Roquefort. Classic Barbarella Psychedella, or something new for a new generation. I also picked up number two, different artist here. This is not a Roquefort, and it is um, variant cover number four. The other one was the regular cover. On a different track here, Spongebob Comics, number 76. Oh no, Patrick, the water's going away. We were underwater? Untitled, part one of two, from United Plankton Pictures. Now this is actually the newsstand edition, not the direct market, uh, not the direct comic edition. There's still a few books that are being published on the newsstand, RIP DC Comics. They were the last of the big two that was publishing in the newsstands. So um, you're not gonna find those on the newsstands anymore. And lastly is Riverdale, number nine. Untold comic stories from the hit TV series. This again is the photo cover and newsstand edition. So you won't find these at your regular comic shop. And these aren't your dad's Archie's comics anymore. So that was my haul. Riverdale number 9, new stand edition. Spongebob Comics number 76, new stand edition. Barbarella 1 and 2. Walt Disney Showcase number 1. Comic Book History of Comics number 2. Underdog 1975 number 1. The Girl Who Handcuffed Houdini, number one. The Walking Dead, number 175 and 176. Not Brand Ech, number 14. Darkhawk, number 51. Spider Gwen, number 27 and 25. And The Mighty Thor, number 700. If you like this comic haul, don't forget to subscribe. Leave some feedback, share your own comics. And if you've enjoyed all of my comic book videos through the years, don't forget to head on over to patreon.com slash vmcampos and donate a dollar. It really helps. This has been VM Campos. See you next time.